What's going on card pack? Today we're going to go over the top 10 baseball cards that went up the most over the last week and boy were there some big gains probably because the playoffs are about to kick off. Playoffs indicate some rocket ships. A couple reminders before we dive in. I'm still doing the NFL Prism Seller Pack giveaway. I'm, I'm still doing it because I'm still not back to Seattle yet and so I can't ship the thing out. So until I get back to Seattle, I'm going to keep doing leaving the giveaway open. To get entered, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, and then there's a link in the description, this page, where you enter your email so that I know how to contact you if you win. And I'll be doing a live drawing on the channel. If you want the audio from these videos, check out the podcast. Link in description. It's just loading right now, but the podcast, the link is in the description. There it is. Um, as we go through these cards, I'll do buy, sell, hold. The ones I think are buys, I'll send up to the card pack newsletter before I publish the video. It's free to join that. The link is in the description. And if you want my top sports card picks, my top, top, top sports card picks, join the Sports Card Society, sportscardsociety.com. There's a membership area. You log in. I put up exclusive videos just for the society on specific cards. I'm like, I'll pick like one card today, one card tomorrow, stuff like that, and I'll do a video and I'll deep dive it to show why why I'm buying it and, and everything like that. And plus it comes to the Discord group filled with um, serious, active, intelligent sports card investors. So check out the Sports Card Society link in the description. Let's dive into the content, boys and girls. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Number 10 on the list is Pete Alonzo. It's 2019 Bowman Chrome, number 48 base. Pop count of only 688, up 78% on the week. Let's go to the chart. By the way, I'm in the market movers tool. This is the most important thing I use in sports card investing. You will see why as we go through the video. We can chart the prices, we can see the history, all that type of stuff. I'll put a link for the market movers tool in the description and there'll be a discount code there too. The discount code is SOCIETY. You'll get 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. Now, Pete Alonzo, what's up? Only 688. I don't love Pete Alonzo, but I think he's a good baseball player. Started the week at 30, end of the week at 53. That's a pretty, pretty good gain. I mean, almost 80%. But let's pull this thing back 90 days and see what the price action's been like. It's been pretty up and down, pretty up and down. And by the look of the history, it looks like we're near a top, near an up. Actually, the highest, the latest sale was 78. I don't know why it's showing 53 there. Nonetheless, we know we're near a top. As a matter of fact, if it, oh, it went up 78%, excuse me, went up 78%, so up to 53. So we know we're near a top, right? So this is probably a good time to sell. If Pete Alonso has a really good, if he like hits a game-winning home run in the playoffs or something, um, you know, it could, it, it, it could go up quite a bit, stuff like that. Um, actually, I'm not sure... I haven't. I don't know what all teams are going to be in the playoffs. I know there's still a bit of a playoff hunt going on. So excuse me if I don't know exactly if someone's going to be in a playoff. I'm assuming if they're on this list, their team isn't going to be in the playoffs. I'm not going to go deep dive that right now. Um, or is at least expected to be in the playoffs, rather. So I would be a sell on this because this is near a top. This is why having like Mark Mover's tool, this shows me 90 days of sales data right here. And I could go back more. I go back 180. Let's do that real quick. So we're up here again, this whole period, except for back here, which was like the beginning of baseball. We're near a top. I think it's a good time to sell, right? I would sell, I would sell this card. Next on the list, Randy. <laughs> I don't know, I can never say, I can't say his last name. Anyways, or Oro Zarina, 2020 Tops Chrome. I don't know him much. Anyways. Um, Tops Chrome, pop count of only 816, up 81% on the week. Pretty solid. Pretty. That, listen, number 10 on the list is up like 78%. This is this is a pretty good week for baseball cards. 32 bucks to start the week, 60 bucks to end the week, right? Let's pull back 90 days. Let me get some coffee while it loads. Again, by looking at the price data, if you can sell it for around this price, I would be a Fat, fat, fat sell. Fat sell. Next on the list, Keston Hira, 2019 Tops Update, US 150, his base when he's batting. Pop count of 2605. By the way, all the cards we're looking at are PSA 10s because that's the card that sets the tone for the market. Everything's based off the price PSA 10 goes for. 
And if you're new to this, pop count means this card in this grade, that's how many of them currently exist, up 81% on the week. Let's chart this baby. By the way, if you're interested in crypto, I have a crypto channel too. The link for that is in the description. Um, 10 bucks to start the week, 19 bucks to end the week, up 81%. Um, let's pull back 90 days. I'm willing to bet I'm a sell. Yeah, look, he's near the tops. Like, but he could go up more. You can't let the greed trick you into that. Just as you can't let the fear trick you into selling too low, right? Take your profits, in my opinion. Not financial advice, but I'm a sell. Next on the list, Alex Bregman, 2016 Bowman Paper Prospects. Pop count of only 437, up 98 percent let's pull up the chizart let's see here let's see let's see let's see the bowman first prospects are, are definitely the best rookie cards to have this is the paper one the chrome is worth more I'm sure chrome probably has a slightly lower pop count but it's 2016 it's alex bragman started the week at 18 bucks end of the week at 36 so it doubled let's pull back 90 days i'm willing to bet i am a s -s 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 sell on this too yeah, he's near the top, you know, but the top's up here. Yeah, I don't even know if that was a real sale. I see the other peaks are like, you know, here's 40 bucks. Here we're at 36. Here's a sale at 37.50. Here's a sale at 36. I take my profits and run, so I'm a sell on that one too. It's a good time of year to buy sell baseball cards as we go into the playoffs. Buy the, buy the rumor, sell the news. Next on the list, Fernando Tatis Jr., 2019 Tops Archives. Base, pop count of 622, up 100%. I don't think the Padres are making the playoffs. Did something, let me look real quick. I don't think the Padres are making the playoffs here. Where's the national? Yeah, they're not, well, are they in the running? Who do we got here? We got the Braves and Phillies fighting it out. Brewers are definitely getting in. Cardinals are definitely getting a wild card spot. Giants are getting in. Dodgers are getting the other wild card spot. Padres aren't getting a Padres aren't getting in. They're not. They're not going to be in the playoffs. Um. Or am I wrong? Is there an extra wild card spot now? Or is that maybe I'm just thinking of football? I don't know because playoff schedules change. I'm like some year as of recently. I find myself questioning how many teams get in. I was going to say. Six from each, you know, divisional winners and two wild card spots, right? If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, eight, 75 bucks to start the week, 150 to end the week. Why did it go up? Padres aren't going in the playoffs. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. But if it's really selling for that, sell it. I would be a sell. I love Tatis. I think he is a superstar. I think he's a future. He's a superstar for years to come. I think he's going to be one of the biggest players in baseball for a while. And his prices overall will go up, but I'll be buying him in the offseason. Get what I'm saying? I'll be buying Tatis in the offseason, but I'm selling that now. Nico Horner, great name. 2020 Tops Chrome Prism Refractor. See how it's with an S? Not a Z. <laughs> Trademarks. Pop count of only 71. It's up 122%. Let's look at the chart. Again, this Mark Movers tool, the link for it is in the description with the discount code. Most important thing I use. Hit that like button, hit the sub button. Good looking card, you know. Pris prism. Not prism, prism. Because <laughs> of the S. Because prism is a licensed product. Although refractor is also licensed by Tops. And uh, prism is what, um, uh, wow, it's early in the morning for me. What? Panini. It is their licensed term for, well, basically a refractor, right? So, and hollow is the optic thing, but they're all the same. They just use different names. 27 bucks to start the week, 60 to end the week, spool back 90 days. Willing to bet I'm a sell on this also. Well, that's interesting. Huh. I might be a hold. I'd be a sell or a hold. I would not be a buy, depending on what you think he's going to do. Wait a minute. What team is he on? He's not on the Cubs, I don't think. What team is he on? I don't care. He's not a big enough name for me to care. I would either be a seller or hold. Next on the list, Kyle Tucker. 2015 Bowman Draft Prospect Auto. 
pop of 112. This is one of the best rookie cards, types of rookie cards out there, up 141%. Um, I would say my favorite baseball rookie card, you know, as long as the player has it, is the Bowman First Prospect Chrome Auto Numbered. That's pretty much as good as it gets. Refractor, of course, too. Um, yeah, Bowman Chrome Refractor Auto Numbered. Those are like that's like the best, basically, rookie card you can get. Basically, okay. One ninety-five to start the week. 469 to end the week, up 141%. So that did pretty good. Let's look at 90 days. My guess is I'm a sell because that's a pretty damn good game. This is over 90 days. This is basically the high for the last 90 days. It was hanging out down here in the uh, 200s to 350s, and now we're up here. I'd sell. Here's why. Maybe he does good. Is he going to be in the playoffs? I don't know. Is he going to... Uh, if he's in the playoffs, he's going to do well. Maybe this card goes up, yeah. But you know what? I guarantee in the offseason, it's below this price. That's why it's up. And then buy back if you want in the offseason. Kyle Lewis, last year's uh, Rookie of the Year, 2020 Tops Chrome Sophia Refractor. Did the Mariners get a spot? Let's look real quick at the American League. Are they? So we got the Rays. We got this White Sox. We got the Astros. Oops. Uh, so then we got, wait a minute, what's going on here? One, two, three. Let's see here. How many, wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? Anyways, so Mariners, they got 85 wins. A lot of competitors right here in the East. So the Mariners could get a playoff spot. 85 wins, they could. Looks like the Red Sox have basically locked one in. Mariners, you could get in. I, yeah, you could get in, you could get in. Anyways, so if you think he's going to be in, maybe he is a buy. Let's take a look. That's going up so much. It's Kyle Lewis, 2020 Tops Chrome Sophia Refractor Pop, kind of 380, up 152%. I like these Sophia ones. I always felt like they were kind of underrated. I'm glad to see one of these make the list because they're pretty low pop count. And I like Sophia vintage, old style looking thing. 380 pop count. 46 to start the week, 63 to end the week. Let's pull back 90 days. 90 dias for you. Partial Spanish speakers like myself that know a few words. I took two years of Spanish in high school. I know a few words. I didn't pay much attention. I literally screwed around. Screw, screw, screwed around. Um, might be a good time to sell. I mean, as you can see over the last 90 days, this card's the trend has just been down. He's got a nice pop up here as they might make the playoffs. Um, let me go here. Let's see who's clinched. Who's clinched? Yeah, screw it. I'm not going to look it up. I don't want to read all that and bore you with that. But, I mean, pay attention. Obviously, pay attention. If guys go into the playoffs, the only people I would ever consider buying are people who are going to be in the playoffs. That's it. That is it. No way right now. Not right now. This is big sell time. It's been sell time for a bit for most of them, um, except for the legitimate playoff contenders, people that can make the playoffs, and then next layer on top of that, people that can do well in the playoffs. Teams that can do well in the playoffs in particular. But players, yeah, you know, Kyle Lewis comes in if they make the playoffs, the Mariners. And he comes in, he has a two home run game, two grand slams, and hits game winning homer. It's just like, yeah, his cards are going to go bananas because of the emotion and the hype and the foam. But I would probably sell. I would sell and buy back later. I like Kyle Lewis. I live in Seattle. I'm not a Mariners fan, but, uh, you know, I like him enough. Juan Soto, next on the list, 2020 Tops Chrome Refractor. Ooh, on popcorn, I'm only 64 on that. Oh, it's not exactly a rookie card. Never mind. Um, 178% to uh, on the week. Yeah, Juan Soto was rookie's 2018, right? I think it's 2018. So this is just a random like 30-year card that made the list. Interesting. Let's pull back 90 days. Yeah, I would sell that. I think that that's a. I think that's a bit of a fake sell. I don't think it actually sold for that because it doesn't make any sense why a third year, someone, uh, either a mistake happened or it was a shill bid, something like that. That is not happening. If it's going for that, sell it immediately. And number one on the list, Mr. George Springer, 2014 Tops Update. Base pop count of 659 up 203%. I have a fee, well, no, because of his price point, this could have actually 
gone up this much. Let's look at the chart. I don't look at the chart before I make the video. I mean, I look at who the top 10 are, but I don't really look at their charts because I want to analyze them live with you. Well, you know, live. I mean, I don't stream this, but you know what I mean. Interesting. Let's pull back 90 days. I'm willing to bet I'm a big sell on this. Nope. It's not as crazy as I thought. There was just a ridiculous under undervalued sale that happened. So this is about the right price for him. Let's pull back 180 days. Nonetheless, um, I don't know. This is this one. I would either sell it or hold it. I would either sell it or hold it um, because, you know, and he still plays for the Astros, right? Here's my here's my order of sports I'd pay attention to: football number one, basketball number two, baseball number three. Okay, don't rip me apart in the chat because baseball is not my main sport, and there's so many, God, so many players in baseball. It's hard to keep track of a lot of them. Um, yeah, he still plays for the Astros, right? No, no, he plays for the Blue Jays. Which they should make the playoffs, right? Let's go to the. I think make the playoffs, right? Oh no, I guess they're in contention. I guess that they're another potential to make the playoffs. Okay, we'll see. Right now they're. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So George Springer, because of Blue Jays, I would sell. I would sell, 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 sell. I would sell it absolutely. But what if they make the playoffs? And if you got to ask that question, you're coming from the wrong mindset, in my opinion. Because I know, I'm not saying, oh, look at you, you're dumb. That's not what I'm saying. I, I do that. I do that myself. I ask myself the what ifs, and I've just realized way more often than not, if I'm asking myself that question, I get burned. Every so often I win. And then, but, then, but what's funny is that's what you remember. Oh, I won. Remember that one time? I bought it for a hundred and I should I was gonna sell it, but I was like, no man, I got a feeling. I got a feeling he's gonna do well in the playoffs. And he did all and I made two hundred bucks. But then you you tell that story all the time and you forget the twenty other times that you did that and you lost money. So take you gotta take your profits. In my opinion, not financial advice, my strategy is to take profits and put them into long term cards like LeBron, like Trout, like Steph Curry, like Tom Brady. Oh, I hate Tom Brady. I don't love Tom Brady. I don't. That's not the point. I mean, it can be if you want it to be, but for investing, it's not really the point. The point is to have your buy assets and have them grow in value. Like that's investing. So that's what I got for you today. I wasn't a buy on one damn card here, so I will put a link in the description for um, a card that I'm buying. It will probably be a basketball card because it's still a good time to buy basketball. I think. I'll probably I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, other than that, stay classy. You're awesome. Enjoy the baseball playoffs, and welcome back, football, right?